Thank you for viewing my short presentation on how to read someone's mind. How many sales could you close if you could read your client's mind? I can assure you a lot more than you're currently doing. And also this presentation can apply in your personal life too. Hopefully I've captured your attention now and I wish it was that simple. Just go to Amazon.com and purchase your crystal ball and you're all set. Well, it doesn't work that way. I once read somewhere, if the path is easy, then this path is probably not worth traveling. So if you cannot buy a crystal ball, what is the next best thing? Client motivation. Finding out what motivates someone is the second best thing to being able to read their mind. You're probably thinking, well, how do we find out what motivates people? We've all heard the saying, God gave us two ears and one mouth, so therefore we should listen twice as much as we talk. Ask open-ended questions. If the client can answer with a simple yes or no, then that's not an open-ended question. An example of some open-ended open questions are is, what is the outcome you wish to achieve? Or how do you measure success in this particular project? Or maybe, can you describe your past results? By asking open-ended questions, you're building a dialogue, which is the first step to building trust and building a relationship. Most people buy from people that they trust or they know. It doesn't matter if you have the best product or the best service. If the client doesn't trust you, more than likely, he's going to buy from somebody else. Putting yourself in someone else's shoes is going to help you understand what is motivating this particular person. When you ask questions, listen, pause, think. The dialogue does not have to be in rapid succession. You ask a question, they answer. You ask a question, they answer. Body language. Is he shuffling in his chair? Is she looking at her watch or playing with her iPhone? Are they genuinely listening to what you're saying? Now that you've paused and you're listening, Think about what has been said. Is there a pattern? If you were in their shoes, why would you have said that? Maybe the client is worried because of the last vendor relationship he had. Or maybe this client isn't even the right person you should be talking to. They don't have the power to write a PO. In that case, you need to move on. Assume, never assume. Find out what is motivating your client. Ask open-ended questions. One of the best ways to build a relationship and be successful is to stop thinking about you and to start thinking about them. This is going to help you build that relationship. Put yourself in their position. In the next couple of weeks, I'll be posting more videos on www dot paul is the one dot com which will also will appear in my linkedin account thank you for your time and i hope you have a great day